Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rechah Kodesh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, whom the world in ignorance called God and Jesus Christ. Double honor to the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone that rule well in the thought of His truth, among many other things. Salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are out there on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, and also, of course, are waking up the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the fact that they are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, you know? And you might not look like the so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, but you are still, you know, maybe you're likening it to a speckled bird like the scriptures say. That means you look like the other nations, but you're not of the other nations, but your father has laid down with one of these other nations like, you know, the, the Edomites or, you know, the Ammonites or the so-called uh, so white men, the so-called... Um, uh, Japanese, or one of these other nations, you might come out a, a few shades lighter. But you are what your father is, you know. The seed declares the pedigree. So the seed of the father declares the race. You are the race that your father is. That's very simple. The most High is not the author of confusion. You are what your father is. But let me just jump into the scripture, you know. So a lot of people want to be picking and choosing. You know, here it says, if you believe what you like in the Bible and reject uh, what you don't like, it's not the Bible you believe, but yourself. And that's another, uh, the spirit of a lot of these Christians, a lot of our people, they don't want to be judged. You know, only God can judge me. That's a Tupac song, man. That's what I've always always been saying. And it's funny, you know, because a lot of Jakes, they, they go by that uh, by that saying, man. They take that saying over a nigga, from, you know, from a nigga over the Bible, man. You see that? And the other Manat Zafba also, you know, he made a video about it again. Well, uh, a few days ago, or yesterday, or two days ago, you know, but it's not a good thing that our people are like that, man. A lot of people, uh, when they come into this truth, they think like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, everyone's supposed to like you and all that. That's not the case, man. They, they, you know, they hated the Lord, man. Why? Let me go into this uh, real quick. Just a, a few precepts. John 7, verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil, you know, or evil, like the Elder Hawad says, man, <laughs> you know. So in an LT, is the world can't hate you, but it does hate me because I accuse it of doing evil. You see that? And that's a thing that um, a book of Galatians, what does it say? Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Because if you tell the truth and people are, 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 are wicked, what's going to happen? You, you're not agreeing. And the scriptures say, Amos chapter 3, verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? You see that? So a lot of people are complaining about uh, you know the scriptures, but you need to be happy because it says in the scriptures that the servants of prophets, let me go to Luke chapter 6, verse, uh, going to the Dutch verse 22, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. So it's a blessing, man. And when they shall separate you from their company, and hate goes also into uh, love less, you know, or they really despise you. Why? Because you stand for righteousness. You know, let me jump into a quick precepts, Salakia, Proverbs 27 and 29. So like at 29 and 27, of course, an unjust man is an abomination to the just and he that is upright in the way, so he that wants to be righteous and living godly, is abomination to the wicked. Here it says in the NLT, the righteous despise the unjust, the wicked despise the godly. So you are, uh, uh, you know, at, at, you're at adversity with one another because one is likening the works uh, you know, likes the works of, of righteousness and the other, you know, likes the works of evil. And it's all about righteousness. Luke chapter 6 and 22, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Now, not what blessings await you when people hate you and exclude you and mock you and curse you as evil because you follow the Son of Man? You know, it's not exactly on point, but, you know, if you go to certain points in this verse, you know, if you continue in, in righteousness, it will be a blessing that you, you know, take heat from uh, the people in the world. 
because the scriptures do talk about Second Timothy chapter uh, three and twelve. Yeah, and all that will live godly and Masiah, the anointed uh, save, uh, Savior, Yahweh Shai, shall suffer persecution. And also people will come against you for this truth, man. Luke 6 and 23, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. You see that? And here it says, when that happens in the LT, be happy. Yes, leap for joy, for a great reward awards, uh, awaits you in heaven. And remember, their ancestors treated the ancient prophets that same way. And the servants, uh, the, the spirit of the prophets is subject you know, uh, unto the prophets. You've been a prophet back in the day, you're going to come back a prophet. You know? So don't be amazed that uh, people are out there hating you, you know, because it's, it's just because they ain't... Um, they ain't all of the most high, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them. And they have, a, a, you know, that, that two-third nigga mentality. And that's why, you know, they, they go against everything that's righteous because they love wickedness. You know, so John chapter 15, verse 18. You see the disciples' relation to the world. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world... The world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore, therefore the world hated you. You see that? So here you see in that scripture that if people uh, start to, you know, um, act all weird and, you know, despise you and look down upon you, just uh, because you read the Bible and all that, you see that. They did it unto the Lord first, man. And the scriptures are um, very clear when it comes to um, the servant is not greater than his master, man. You see? Let me see. <clears throat> uh, John 17. What was it? Uh, or it is in the same chapter, by the way. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's right there. So I got distracted. So John 15 and uh, 20. Remember the word that I sent unto you, that servant is not greater than his Lord. So we're not greater than the Lord. You know, as servants. Even though the Lord came to minister, that which is also serving, but he is still the Lord. And he humbled himself to serve the ones that are in need. You know, destitute of the truth that need guidance. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. You see, so, because what? Uh, it's all about predestination, man. Not everyone has the spirit to believe in Yahweh Basham Yoshai. You see that? But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they don't know him that sent me. See, and it goes in the NLT, they will do all this to you because of me, for they have rejected the one who sent me. You see, and this is the wickedness of uh, this world, man. They would, uh, uh, let me go in the, in, the, in the KJV in the verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for the sin. There's no excuse anymore, man. The Lord is revealing it. And, you know, the truth is out there, man. And the Lord uh, died for our sins and he went on the cross one time. And you need to get it right. You get, you need to get this, you know, you get this chance. You're on the grace, but you need to get it right, man. There's no uh, uh, excuse. You know, don't use this uh, um, liberty as a, a you know, uh, basically a tool for maliciousness, for wickedness, man. You know, and you have no excuse to hide anything or whatever, because you need to get right, and this is the, that shows growth, man. He that hated me hated my father also, so you see that, and that goes also into um, and uh, you know, another uh, chapter in the book of John, you know, or 
know, if the book of John, the book of Luke, there's many precepts that, that show you that. And even if you go into First Thessalonians 4 and 8, you see also like the, the you know, as ambassadors of the Lord, if people come against you, they, it's not about, let me get that. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. Let me start at 7. For the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, had not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despised despise not man, but the Heavenly Father, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. You see that? In the NLT, therefore anyone who refuses to live by these rules is, is not obeying human teaching, but is rejecting the Heavenly Father, who gives his Holy Spirit to you. Because the Spirit is given, if you go to the book of Acts, 5 and 32. And we are witnesses of these things. And so also, so is also the Holy Spirit, the ghost, whom the Heavenly Father had given to them that obey him. You see that? So a lot of people think that this is a light thing. They, they turn into scarves and markers. That's why you see a lot of people be being placed back up in the spirit world because the Lord ain't taking no... Uh, no mockery, and you see that the judgments are coming quicker, man, because the scriptures are clear, Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, the heavenly father, Yahweh, is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, you see, with all the things that you're doing right now, what does Matthew 24 says, all the suffering that you have to go through, Matthew 24, verse, um, 13, but he, should, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And if you go to the word endure, you know, it's to remain, to, and it goes to the hippomeno, to remain, to tarry behind, uh, to remain, abide, not recede. So he ain't going to go back or flee because it gets hard. And it says here, to persevere on the misfortunes and trials to hold fast to one's faith in the Lord. To endure bravely, uh, to endure, bear bravely. So you need to, you know, carry your cross and calmly. And, you, and what does the script, what did the Lord say? In your, uh, you know, uh, in your uh, patience, possess your souls. So in your pa uh, patience goes to suffering, possess your souls. So stay calm. Don't make haste in time of trouble, like the book of Sirach, the second chapter states. You know, so bear brave, bravely and calmly ill treatments. And it goes into figuratively to undergo I bear trials, have fortitude, pers persevere, abide, endure, take patiently, suffer, tarry behind. It goes into, you know, like the Lord did, man. He took it. He, he uh, and he also got help, you know, by Simeon. You know, he also got help. So don't be in the spirit like I don't need no help because everyone needs help, man. You know, the two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You know, one cannot be warm alone. You know, if one fall... He, and a brother can help him up, man. And if you don't fellowship, then you have a problem, man. You know, so this is about enduring. I just wanted to make it short, you know, and your desire is still edifying. So with that, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. You know, Yahweh Basham Yoshai, Basham Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this video, the honor to the apostles and other bishops of Creek Millstone of Well. And I thought it was the truth. Shout out to this to the Sisi Alchem out there that are out there pushing this truth, man, and sincerity and truth. And to all your brothers and sisters that believe in Yahweh, but in Yahweh, Pasha Shai, Shalom to you all as well. Yahweh is out in the next.